You God said, gave him, no, God I, gave us free will, you correct God. Do you believe in God? No, I don't. So then why is no. it? So why, why are you calling to God if he doesn't exist? How? Because I'm asking you a question. Why are you calling to God if he doesn't exist? Because he's calling to God. 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 Because he's I, yes, yes or no, I believe I that, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're so right, her. Free will, yeah? Choice to make your own decisions, right? So where does your why does your God then say that a woman cannot make their own choice whether they have a baby or not? But why are we talking about this when you don't believe in God? It doesn't make any sense. Using your logic is No, but my God says, my God says Thou well, shalt not murder. Purpose, My no. God say, do not right. murder. You say, oh, thou shalt murder. Yeah, don't right. murder. The guy, the guy said, so on a cross. No. It kills Jesus him. Christ <laughs> laid his life down willingly. He uh, said, yeah, I laid it down know. willingly. And he took it up yeah, again. And he know. died then. And then if you are so I know you don't like me. I know you've got no. I know you're really angry at me. Would you tell me your name? I'm Joe. Would you tell me your name? So I want to tell you something. Jesus died for you. And you might he did. No, all the wrong thing. things you and I have no, done, no. all the lies, all the blasphemy, right, all yeah, the wrong things, all of it was safe. put on Jesus Christ. He died on that cross so you could be forgiven. No, and I'll you're tell you this, I'm not a good person. No, no, you're entitled to that. Can you, yeah, yeah, okay. right, 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 That's yeah. fine, you're entitled yeah. to yours, right? right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 But listen, listen, right? I've right? brought Jessica yeah. Alba before, okay? I'm actually a married man, okay? Believe it or not. I know, no, believe it or not. But do you think that I've ever made my wife cry before? What do you think? What? 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 Do you think I have? Yes, I have. Yeah, I have, okay? Do you think I've ever told lies before? What do you think? Yeah? You see these fish? I know I'm a dweeb, but do you think I've ever hit anyone before? I have, yeah. But now ask me this question, am I going to heaven? No, no. No, you don't think I am. I am actually. But not because I'm a good person. Because there are two types of people that get into heaven. Perfect people and forgiven people. And none of us are perfect, okay? But every single one of us can be forgiven. Because 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ died. You enjoy that, babe. Listen, listen. Stop shaming women for choices that I'm not shaming women. I'm... Listen, listen, babe. You're the one who brought this argument up again. You are the one who said God has killed. You're the one who said God has killed children. And he hasn't. He hasn't. God doesn't kill children. God gives life. God don't kill people. Can I just ask you this? Right, you answer me this question about abortion, and I want to move on. Do you believe a, a, a mother's womb is a safe place? Yes or no for a child? Is it a safe place for a baby? Is it? No. Be a safe place when your own body then can miscarry and kill that baby. It's very sad that when that happens, I really do believe it's very sad. Yeah, it's very sad. So my point being, what's the difference between a miscarriage and someone that cannot support their baby? Someone has made the choice to put that child to death. So many children are talking. Listen, listen. I used to work in a special needs school. Listen. Listen, listen, listen. Richard Dawkins believes that a Down syndrome baby should be put to death and that it should wipe out. They say there's a bunch of society. If you go to a special needs school and you spend time with Down syndrome children, you spend time. I'm just saying, this is I'm just trying to say, I'm trying to use your arguments because why? You say the quality of life. Why is it a bad quality of life? How can you decide that a child will have a bad quality of life? If you don't want to have a child, you don't have to be a good parent. I'm not speaking to you for a second. Okay, right, just calm down. Right. I've said that as well. Right, I'll tell you. Well, listen to me. Go on. If this if a child say, can't have a good quality of life, can't run, can't walk, can't see, can't do nothing. No, no, because all life is precious. That's Frankenstein's monster said this. All life is precious to their mind. But he said all life, and I believe it. All life is precious. You do, you've never ever been in a special needs school, I can tell that. You've never ever been in a special needs school. So how can you, yeah, you have not, if you said, so how do you, because you've just said, let me speak, am I allowed to answer? Am I allowed to answer? I'm not allowed to answer. You just said to me, when a child is blind, when a child can't see, when they can't think, when they're just sat there, and they're nothing. They are precious. They are so precious. All life 
life is precious. Excuse me. I'm not a pastor, no. Pardon? I'm an evangelist. I, I'm just a guy. I'm just an ordinary Christian. Do you know how this debate started? Yeah. Her friend said, her friend said God has killed more babies, lots of babies. And I was trying to say society has killed babies. I was saying that. I'm just saying society. Pardon? Look, I'm just asking anyone today in Manchester. I'm just asking anyone in Manchester. Give me some hope. Give me some hope beyond the grave. That's all I'm asking you for you. That we're forgiven, so no matter what we do, we repent against that, we can be forgiven. Well, not exactly. So if I was having an abortion, if I repent against that, I've then been forgiven of Jesus. It's wrong. It is wrong. Actually, going back to the first question where I came in when you were telling this lovely young man that the Quran changed, who wrote the Bible? Tell me now, who wrote the Bible? Well, there's many different authors no, no, over no, a long time. No, no. Who wrote the Bible? Yeah, I'll tell you which, which book. Tell me a book and I'll name it. Tell me a book. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Men who wrote back. There's loads of Moses. Moses wrote the first five books. Moses wrote the first five books. Literally telling you that you your I have I have I have met you before. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I know it. I I I I I I I no, 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 just a minute. I'll give it back to you. Hold on, listen. No. on his deathbed converted to Christianity, yeah? But he was a lifelong pagan, 25th of December as well. It's the pagan holiday, No. No, 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 no. Listen, this gentleman is doing one thing. He said, For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believes in him will not perish, but will receive everlasting life. It's a choice. And he loves you so much, he looked on you and he died for your sin that you will not perish. It's a choice. Now, that's a question here that I picked up. The person said, if I voted and I now asked for forgiveness, will I be forgiven? Of course, Jesus will forgive you. And I'll share a story with us. The Jesus Christ in the Bible is the Jesus Christ that they brought a woman that was caught in adultery. And people wanted to stone the woman. And Jesus Christ looked on them. He wrote on the ground, if you have not committed a sin, cast your stone. They all looked at their self and dropped their stone. And Jesus Christ looked at the woman and said, Woman, neither have I... Have that so the, the message of Jesus Christ is a message of love, it's a message of peace, it's a message of grace. If you need grace in your life, you know that Jesus Christ will be there for you. Gentlemen, well done. God bless you. Keep up the good work. Hey, listen, we have gone on a bit of a, a bender here. But we're out here today, as that man said. There's one reason. There's a God who loves you. And Jesus Christ on the cross, because you have done wrong, I've done wrong. He suffered on that cross and he took all the wrong that we've done so that we could be forgiven and anyone who wants that for themselves there is a hope beyond the grave and we're asking you today come to Jesus Christ he loves you I'm not a perfect man I've made a mess of my life I've done wrong things and I'm not better than any of you but I'm telling you today I've got hope because Jesus Christ died on the cross but on the third day he rose from the dead and baby when it's a fetus and it has no consciousness no heart no call it, it is not okay. Okay. conscious you it is not alive. I didn't hear that, sorry. So your faith is in human. So your faith is in human. Okay, so you have faith in all humans or just some humans? All humans. So you have faith in Hitler, though. He was a human. You have faith in Jimmy Fallon. You have faith in Wayne Cousins. And you have faith in a God who kills people.
Yeah. You have faith in the gods. I have faith in the gods. I'm sorry. Do you believe abortion? Right? Yeah. Do you believe in abortion? Yeah, but it's not a choice. It's a woman's it's choice. It's a baby. It's a baby. It's a baby. You said to me. I believe in a God that kills babies. I believe in a God who protects babies and loves babies and put, but we live in a society and he's putting babies to death. Right or wrong? It's not worth by the way. Abortions aren't killing babies. What, what, what is it killing them? So a fetus is... their intentions, you don't know their motivation. If a woman aborts his child, you cannot judge. You cannot say she's not, she's going to hell, you cannot say that she's not going to heaven, because no, you don't We're know. jumping to conclusion. I never said it was going I, to hell for that. We're going to, the Bible actually says all liars will have their part in the lake of fire. So that means anyone who's told a lie will go to hell. We're all on our way to well, going to hell. It doesn't that. matter about that. I can say that. That's what the Bible says. I have every authority to stand on the Bible and say that. Okay. I can say that. Do you believe the Bible, madam? Yeah. 
Yeah. John the Baptist. Was John the Baptist a prophet? No, first of all, do you know? Yeah, but truth is truth. Truth is truth. My Bible Everybody's Bible is different. You may be reading that thing and my Bible is No, but no. For who was written the Bible? For who? For the Jewish. No, 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 no. The Bible Wait, wait. You have the Old Testament and you have the New Testament. The Old Testament was for the Jewish. Right? The Jews. I'm sorry. The Jews. And the New Testament were for the other people that are not Jews. So everyone. And the first thing that Jesus told is that you cannot judge anyone. The person who says, I have the truth, he will no, say... No, you're wrong that. You're wrong that. Jesus, not, no, no. We, we are able to judge, not in a way where we look down on no, one another. No, 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 but no, John the Baptist, who's... Why are you John, me? I just let me finish, because no, you're not I'm saying... Not finished. Finished. You're not, not saying... Okay. You first of all, you have to respect everyone's opinion. You cannot interrupt people, because if it's your truth, it's your relative truth. You cannot impose everyone to believe what but you are saying. I don't believe in relative truth though. I believe in absolute truth. No, but that, but for everyone, is it absolute? No. Absolute, yes it is, yes. Is it, is it the same truth No, so it's, it's not the same, yeah, but, but then, but then th this is where we get into problems though, because then it's like, if there is, if, if everything becomes relative then. There is no need. It is though, because then one man can say, it's okay for me to kill people, and the other man says, I want to help people if everything's relative it just becomes like having a no, meal I'm not, gonna have baked beans with my tea and I'm not, gonna have peas with mine it's just I, a choice it's not what I told you I told you everyone has their own beliefs and if they believe it's the true the true true it's correct by God okay but what happens if my truth says your truth is a lie no, but it's you relative just cannot truth. Say that. that's relative because for God it uh, for God it's what you have inside it's what you consider to be true because Jewish Jews have different traditions than Europe. Do you think who is wrong? Nobody's wrong. No, but then the problem. But then, wrong. but Jesus you said, "I say, am the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come to the Father except through me." So if anyone believes that they can get know, to heaven without Jesus, do you know what Jesus would be in a clue? Yes, do I do. You know I know what the truth is. Jesus is the truth. But what, he is the truth. What is the mean of the truth? He's the, he's the one who's the word of God, God in the what flesh. The word of God? God came and lived amongst us. No, he lived and he showed us what truth. Yourself. The truth is everybody's truth. No, no, it's not. No, yes. you have no. Yes. Everybody's yes. truth cannot. Everybody's truth. Everyone cannot be right. Ultimately, right. Okay, you've got a lovely scar. I love your head scar. Okay. You have a different a different tradition, right? Doesn't mean I am right and you are wrong. Doesn't mean that. What's your, because what's your name, name? Sorry. My name is Anna. Your Anna. Are different than mine. But, but we believe. No, no, no. Not Anna. Yeah, Anna. 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 Can I ask? We believe. I'm not. Anna no, no, is different. <laughs> Everyone who goes to heaven will get a crown, okay? We'll have a perfect place, it'll be a wonderful place. So here's the big question. If Hitler was real, okay, and we all believe Hitler was, will Hitler go to heaven and have a crown and be looked after? Can you blame Hitler for everything that happened to you? If there's a living God that has to be how Exactly, this man's right. This man. I don't believe if there's a God that lets all this happen, and I don't believe in him, he lets all happen. Exactly, he's got to all the evil people die. I get away with I'm really thankful that I'm really thankful that there's a hell because Jimmy Savile thought he got away with it. But right now, Jimmy Savile is suffering for all of eternity in hell, and that is good. Every crime deserves a punishment. You look at a judge and someone's killed your brother or sister, and you say, I just want to let everyone up, I want to love everyone. You can't, you're going to say, I want justice for this crime. And that's the same, the Almighty God. I We're talking about so earthly yeah, judges. The Almighty so Judge who has two so so The Almighty Judge has a more finer sense of justice, and that's why we need it. And I'm grateful you said that, because we need it for that. But there is hope for all of us, even though all of us have sinned, even though all of us have made a mess. Lord Jesus Christ. That blood that Jesus Christ shed on the cross can make us clean and wash us whiter than snow. Just like on a snowy day everything's made clean, so the blood of Jesus can wash us whiter than snow. And I'm asking you today, today, people of Manchester, what do you think about the man Jesus Christ? What do you think when I tell you that name, Jesus? Will you put your trust in him? Or will you reject him? Do you believe in God? Or do you believe in, I don't know, what the atheist tells you on the BBC? We're out here.
you with hope. And if there's any atheist today out here in Manchester that could give me hope beyond the grave, I want to hear from you. If there's any atheist out here in Manchester today who can give hope to a dying man in a hospital, I want to hear from you. If there's any atheist out here today. And you think that's hope, is it? I want hope. I want hope. What if I'm what if I'm the beauty science said there's a place called heaven and there's a place called hell. And you need to make sure that when you look like this, you have a hope beyond your grave. And that's why we're out here today. We're saying it's Black Friday today. People are getting all these deals, they're getting wrapped up in all the materialism of this world. But you need to know there's a deal where Jesus Christ sacrificed himself and any man, any woman who says, oh, I need forgiveness, he'll forgive them and he'll wash away all their sins. And that's what we're out here today. Because I've done wrong things, you've done wrong things. And we need Jesus. That's the good message. Well, you won't get punished for your sins, no, if you accept Jesus Christ. So I can do anything. No, because that's you, you can't do anything because when you become a Christian, if you if you when you become a Christian, God's Spirit comes and lives within you. So I so if you put something in front of me that's wrong, to say you're a priest, you can't go through an iman, you can't go through a Buddhist, you, you can only come through Jesus Christ. It's only through Him. No, 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 you're talking about Osiris. Osiris is the resurrection, but it's not the true one. Jesus Christ is the only one to have a fully bodily resurrection. Bread and circus. Anyway, bread and circus for you, last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. There, there are other stories, there are other stories. Jesus gave a full bodily resurrection, and that's the evidence. That's the evidence. Now, dear friends, has anyone, has anyone out here today you. What's that you said, sir? Shout a bit louder. Please, yes, please come to Christ today. Please consider the Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ. Today we're out. Oh, we said peace. Well, the only one who can give peace is the Lord Jesus, and that's what we're out here to tell you today. Pardon? The Trinity, yeah. This man wants to know, yeah, there's God, the Father, there's God, the Son, and there's God, the Holy Spirit. One God, three persons. Well, one God, yeah, if you like, yeah. No, what you, what you don't understand is there was a time in eternity, and it says in the Bible, that Christ's Spirit stepped into the body. So, there was one Spirit, but Christ's Spirit. You're forgetting that Jesus was fully God and fully man. So it was the man who died. The man who died. And that's the amazing truth. And this is why I can't be a Muslim. I'll tell you why. This is what the amazing truth is this. God, this, this is the amazing truth of the Bible. This great big God who's so big that the universe can't contain him came into this world and took on a human flesh. Just like you, Ammon, are in a human flesh right now. I'm in a human skin. The God of the universe took on a flesh and came and lived amongst us. He fed the poor, he healed the sick, he taught amazing things. And then, and then he sacrificed himself so he could be a sacrifice for all flesh. Just like we're all humans and we're in a flesh. That's what Jesus did. He sacrificed himself so that we could be, he'd be the savior of all men. And that's the hope that we're here at. I'll tell you. You're putting, you're putting the Trinity and God down into finite human things. It is a complicated thing, but our mind, I'm so glad that I, I don't understand some of the things in the Bible because it proves that it was written by God. When I read other religious books, okay, it's very easy to understand it because I can tell a man has written that. Well, the Bible was written by God. The Torah is in the Bible. So. The Bible has been preserved. And your Quran has been changed. I'm telling you. It's been changed. Nami, Nami, your Bible's been changed, Lord. Yeah. You actually, if you Google your own church's history, mate, your Bible is the worst one that's been and what, changed. And are you, uh, what faith do you have, lady? Oh, I have no faith. There's no such thing as faith. You don't have any faith in anything. You're standing on a the ground there, you've got faith in something. No. So what do you believe? What do you believe happens then? 
How do you know she's a human humanitarian? Oh, I didn't hear that. Sorry. See your faith is in human. See your faith is in human. It's your faith. It's your is your faith in humans? I have faith in you. Yeah. Okay. So you have faith in all humans or just some humans? All humans. So you have faith in Hitler then? He was a human. You have faith in Jimmy Samuel? Jimmy Savile. You have faith in Wayne Cousins? And you have faith in a God who kills babies? Yeah. You have faith in a religion whoa, whoa, whoa. that doesn't Let's just stop there for a minute. I have faith in a God who kills babies. I'm sorry, do you believe abortion's right? Yeah, because it's not made choice. It's a woman's choice. It is a woman's and it's the vaccine a choice. Yeah. Yeah, okay, well I don't think it is. And, and suddenly everyone's shouting out, my body, my choice. But when it comes to the vaccine, we're not just out shouting those things. But you said to me, I believe in a God that kills babies. I believe in a God who protects babies and loves babies. And pro But we live in a society that is putting babies to death. Right or wrong? By the way, just... What's, what it, was it killing then? So a fetus is... Yeah, but it's got no life, it's got no form of life. A fetus hasn't got life. It's got no life until it's been born. It's not a consciousness yet. It is conscious. There are babies that survive after 12 weeks. So that's not conscious. You believe that you change it, you change it, you change your position now. You are changing position. Those, you are, you change You just said the baby has no life. When it's the fetus and it has no consciousness, no heart, no fuck all, it's not Okay, but you can kill a baby. You can kill a Down syndrome baby all the way up until the room. All the way up until the room. You don't agree with that? Okay, so you agree on that. But how do you know it is? How do you know it is? How do you know it is? What are we doing? Well, so it's okay sometimes, but not all the time. Right, I've got every feminist in Manchester here now. Listen, I'm, you said to me, you, the reason this came up is you said your God kills babies. And that is absolute nonsense. That is absolute nonsense. You, our society kills babies. Our society, you know there's been more people, there's been more children that have been killed inside the womb, which should be the safest place for a child. The safest place on earth should be a, a mother's womb. There's been more people than that. Than the whole <laughs> well then you need to be more careful, don't you? I'm not talking about. I didn't say that, I didn't say that. Within marriage. I'm saying within marriage. Look, 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 look. Whichever way you want to interpret that, you've got to wear the gun that's right. Exactly! Yes, sir, look! I don't know what you're saying. I'm hearing that. Look, guys. We are digressing here. We're digressing here, right. I didn't think I was going to get into a debate with every feminist in Manchester about abortion. I'm joking, I'm joking. You're not feminist, okay? I'm joking. Listen. Right, have you been drinking, sir? Are you drunk, sir? I Listen, you lost the argument. Rise up. No, you lost the argument. Right. What? Are you just talking? Who says it's wrong, though? What's right or wrong? You told me there's no such thing as God, so it's right, right or wrong. Listen, listen, why is it wrong? Tell me why. Tell me why it is wrong for me to say abortion. Tell me why it is wrong. Just one, one at a time. Should I get the microphone? Can you get the microphone? Right, let's talk about this. Alright, it's long in. You say you believe in God. So then why is it wrong? So why why are you calling to God if he doesn't exist? 
I'm asking you a question. You're just losing your temper. Why are you raising your voice when no one's raising their voice? I'm asking you. You said to me, abortion. You said for me. To... Right, go on then. Tell me why it's wrong. But what? You can't talk about God. I yes, I believe that. Yeah, yeah. Why are we talking about this if we don't believe in God? It doesn't make any sense. No, but my God says, my God says, thou shalt not murder. My God says, do not murder. Yeah, don't murder. No, Jesus Christ laid his life down willingly. He said, I laid it down willingly, and he took it up again. And he died there. And she, I know you don't like me. I know you've got no, I know you're really angry at me. Would you tell me your name? I'm Joe. Would you tell me your name? Well, I want to tell you something. Jesus died for you. And you might say, he did. He did. All of the wrong things you and I have done, all the lies, all the blasphemy, all the wrong things, all of it was put on Jesus Christ. He died on that cross so you could be forgiven. And I'll tell you this, I'm not a good person. Okay. That's fine. You're entitled to yours, right? Okay. Yeah. But listen, listen, right? Someone brought up Jessica Alba before, okay? I'm actually a married man, okay? Believe it or not. I know. No, I believe it or not. But do you think that I've ever made my wife cry before? What do you think? Do you think I have? Yes, I have. Yeah, I have, okay? Do you think I've ever told lies before? What do you think? Yeah? You see these fists? I know I'm a tweet, but do you think I've ever hit anyone before? I have, yeah. But now ask me this question, am I going to heaven? No. No, you don't think I am. I am actually, but not because I'm a good person. Because there are two types of people in heaven. Perfect people and forgiven people. And none of us are perfect, okay? But every single one of us can be forgiven. Because two thousand years ago, Jesus Christ died. Listen, listen. I'm not shaming women. I'm. Listen, listen, babe. You're the one who brought this argument up, okay? You're the one who said God has killed. You're the one who said God has killed children, and He hasn't. He hasn't. God doesn't kill children. God gives life. Can I just ask you this? Right, you answer me this question about abortion, and I want to move on. Do you believe a, ba a, a mother's womb is a safe place? Yes or no for a child? Is it a safe place for a baby? Is it? No, or it's a safe place when It's very sad that when that happens, I really do believe it's very sad. Yeah, it's very sad. Excuse me, what's the point? Because someone has, someone has made the choice to put that child to death. So many children have been told. Listen, listen. I used to work in a special needs school. Listen. Listen, listen, listen. Richard Dawkins believes that a Down syndrome baby should be put to death and they, it should wipe out. They say we're a food on society. You go to a special needs school and you spend time with Down syndrome children. You spend time. I'm just saying, this is, this is, I'm just trying to say, I'm trying to use your argument because why is it? You're saying a quality of. If, if a person sins, they can't be forgiven. My point is this, is God knows the heart, he's not. It says in the Bible, God will not be mocked. So he knows the difference between someone who's genuinely trying to, to be a, a, a Christian, to follow Jesus Christ, and to live with Christian terms, it's just a person who's saying, I'm a believer, so I can go on Tishra, I can slip with a lot of women. I'm a, I'm a Christian, I can go and get drunk if you are. He's not a Christian if he just goes around and does whatever he wants. He's not truly has the spirit of God that lives within him. I would say that, okay? But this is the truth though, Annis. There are only two types of people that get into heaven. Did you know this? Only two types of people get into heaven. Perfect people and forgiven people. And is there anyone in Manchester today who's perfect? Are you perfect, Annis? No? Are you perfect, Joe? I'm not perfect, but I've been forgiven because the Son of God, Jesus Christ, died on a cross. Exactly. That's why I said only two types of people. Exactly, yeah. It's impossible not to sin. When you're a believer, when you've been sanctified by God, sanctified through his word and truth, 
I agree, I agree, yeah. This lady, is a big word, use the big word that sanctification. Yeah, but it's, it's true, you know, but that's what I'm trying to say. God's not real. But that's why we're out here today, to try and point people to Jesus. There's hope in him. There's no hope in Joe Kirby. There's no hope in a, in a religious man or person. There's hope in the Jesus Christ who died on a cross and then three days later rose from the dead. Now, if any person in Manchester today died and then three days later came back from the dead, I would listen so carefully to what they had to say. And that's why we listen to Jesus Christ. Pardon? I just thought, how long it was? All the and that's what he 